Hi, um, I'm just going to show you a few simple ways that you can get an image ready for the silkscreen process. Um, I'm going to be adjusting an image so that I can make a transparency, a film positive, to burn onto a screen that is coated with photo emulsion. So I'm just going to remove the grid. So I'm going to be printing um, my image out on a transparency, either from a laser jet or an inkjet printer. Um, so the first thing I need to do is just get the image to be made up of all black areas. These black areas will block the light from getting to the emulsion on the screen, and um, those areas will then be washed out and be printed through. So real quick, I'm just going to make this a grayscale image make some adjustments, maybe in brightness contrast or in levels or in curves. You can kind of experiment with what you like. I like to make the image a little lighter than what I want since when I'm printing on paper I, will, um, I won't be seeing this sort of illumination like on my computer screen. So if you go to image mode bitmap, um, there's several things that you can do in here to get your image should be just areas of black. One of them is diffusion dither. I like to do around 100 pixels per inch for diffusion dither. Um, the screens that my students use are between 150 and 250 mesh, so this is easy for them to print. So if you just click that, you can now see that your image is made up of areas of just black and white. If I step back, and go to this menu again. Um, this time I'm going to tell it the output is 400 um, just because choosing when I choose halftone it's going to give me another option of, of lines per inch so I can get away with a bigger output here. Uh, 25 lines per, in, per inch is a pretty big dot. Um, with my screens here I can get about a 45. That's the smallest so the bigger the number the smaller the dot. So let's see what a 25 looks like. A 45 degree angle is good for things of one color. Um, if you're going to be printing multiple colors with a half tone, you're probably you'll be wanting to change the angle each time. But that that's more advanced, and we'll get to that in a later tutorial. So this is what it looks like at a 25 line screen, and. This is what it looks like at a 45 line screen. So this is one simple way. Um, you can also use the Photoshop halftone filter, which is under Pixelate. Um, this has your channel separated out if you were to print CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Um, I think you can put this down to four as the smallest. Um, so this gives you a different look. You could also use some of these filters to get yourself some black edges. Here's using poster edges. And then maybe going back into that bitmap and using the 50% threshold, which just takes out anything that's 50% uh, gray and higher makes it black, 50% gray and lower makes it white. So that's another way you could do that, or you could do this poster edges, and then put a bitmap on it, like a diffusion dither. Um, which maybe this is a, a clearer image than what I had before with the um, halftone filter. So you can just experiment with different methods in Photoshop to make your image just uh, black and white. Um, and your students sometimes will know more than you about what Photoshop tricks they like to use. So I hope that helps. Um, I can talk to you more about CMYK and other types of printing in a different tutorial. Thanks.